This series of videos attempts to show the easily observed differences between similar looking flowers or plants that one might find on a bushwalk. Walking through scrub, heath or dry sclerophyll forest on low nutrient soils, you will often encounter an erect shrub with small white flowers and spearhead shaped leaves with sharp tips. They can both be found flowering at any time of the year. The two most likely candidates will be either Woolsia pungens or Epacris pulchella. Epacris tends to be a little taller, but both have similar sized, tubular, white pink, five petaled flowers. Another ID feature is the flowers. The flatter faced flowers of the Woolsia appear to be more crowded and often overlapping whilst Epacris flowers are more spaced. The easiest way to identify them is to smell the flowers. The Woolsia flowers tend to be a little larger or look a little larger and have a pleasant fragrance. And their flowers usually cluster near the tops of the stems. The slightly smaller looking Epacris flowers have no smell and often extend all along the branches. Woolsia is more often found in open woodland or heath, whilst Epacris is often found on rocky hillsides. The leaf shape is also meant to be a distinguishing feature, but in practice this can be hard, as the leaves are small and close to the stem, and can vary within species. But Woolsia are generally said to be more heart-shaped, with Epacris slimmer and spear-shaped. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe and view other great content? New videos being added all the time.